can you talk about some of the open mainframe projects that may be related to AI or folks are leveraging those when it comes to, you know, AI related workloads or system wide monitoring? Absolutely. We have a pres presence in the open mainframe project space, right? More specifically, right, Project Ampetus, um, right? And the, the mission of Project Ampetus, right, is really to foster um, a community that can help educate developers um, about all open source technologies um, that are available on ZOS and, and Linux on Z, right? And so that mission very much aligns with um, uh, an initiative that we recently released around um, AI solution templates on IBM Z and Linux One. Um, and so you can think of these as really a, a blueprint of getting started um, with AI, uh, with deploying AI solutions on, I, on, on the mainframe, whether it's IBM Z or Linux One, right? And these touch on, right, so it provides sample code, right, it references um, sample data sets, uh, some high quality synthetic sample data sets, that, some of which ha have actually been published by um, IBM Research, right? And so we use these data sets and we provide model training pipelines, right, to deploy your model, uh, to, to build your model, and then guidance around deploying your model on the mainframe right, using various different AI inferencing stacks, right, and once you have your model deployed, um, integrating it into various applications, whether that's a web-based applications, whether those are Kix COBOL applications, right, and then finally, uh, also providing some guidance on insights into uh, the, the predictions that your AI models are making, right, so analysis applications. And so, these, you can think of these as a really good way to jumpstart an AI project, um, really serve as a, a rapid proof of concept or prototyping um, sort of uh, solution, right? And as I mentioned, right, these are all available within the open source domain and have been put under the uh, open mainframe projects, impetus. Um, sort of umbrella. There's a lot of help available to get started. Evan touched on the solution templates, which are just a fantastic, like general starting point. If you really, if you want to get your hands um, on some some AI assets and really understand what the process looks like. But in general, a, the way the folks that are used to dealing with AI and used to working with data science packages and, and libraries, they're going to look and feel very similar on you know and on z and in z environments as they do on x86 and in cloud environments so there's a wealth of resources in the ecosystem and examples that you, you can leverage and certainly the, the solution templates I haven't mentioned are one of them but additionally there's there's a lot of content in terms of red books um, right and github assets that right ibm and others have made available that also outline right some of the key technologies we have and different starting points. One thing that we have that I will highlight, which is something that we've made available, it's it doesn't cost anything right for for you know ZOS or or Linux on Z clients to get started with is we do also offer discovery workshops um, where effectively we you know would get together and 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 have a mini workshop with right some some folks from, uh, let's say, a, a particular client and, you know, help them understand the capabilities and based on their use case, find the right starting point, right? So there, there are key assets like that, um, that, that that are available. But just, just taking a step back for a moment, I, I also think, right, the ecosystem is just in, incredibly important. So as we move forward, um, you know, the open mainframe project is, is going to continue to be, in addition to Project Ambitus, which is part of the OMP, is going to continue to be a, a, a really great way for the community to right, collaborate on really AI assets, AI resources, and the capabilities that we need in the ecosystem.